What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Danganronpa. Last time, we, uh, you know, uncovered some stuff with Kyoko, did some investigating, did some uh, free time stuff with Asahina, and then, uh, possibly might have murdered the mastermind? I don't know. We found a dead body. We didn't hear the, uh, you know, the dead body alert, so... Who knows? And we found a key to the uh, computer lab. And we're about to go into it right now, so... Let's, uh, find out what's gonna be going on right now. Yakya? Hmm. Ahem, I said I trust you. You have no an obligation to live up to that trust. Uh-huh, sure. Want to Hina? Okay! It it'll be fine, Makoto's on a job. Not that it's any kind of guarantee. Well, thank you, Asahina. Not a guarantee. Hero? Hmm. I'm totally sure there won't be another Kaboom. For serious. <sighs> but, uh, just be safe. I'm gonna go stand somewhere else. Wow, you are the embodiment of bravery right here. Toko. <laughs> Master told me he trusts you. Master told you that. <laughs> well, don't let it get to your head. I am so not happy about any of this. All right, let's do this. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I opened up the door. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing happened. And to make sure I was still alive, I still opened my eyes. Interesting. In a world, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a... Special kind of strangeness. Because it has everything on screen there. It wasn't a service fear like the rest of the school. Here the fear fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with a kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed... Look at all those monitors on the wall. Yeah. Look at what they're showing. Each monitor played a different section of the school. Dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school is covered. This is... What? It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into the, the, the room. And they're all displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <gasps> to wa watch us? Huh? Then this room is... It's all clear now. The mastermind's private room, without a doubt. Well, I mean, it's kind of obvious with the Matakuma door right there. I mean, I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think it this settles it. Huh? Huh? Hmm. The body in the garden? If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that this was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. Huh? The mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. What? What? For serious? <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill themselves. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does it mean it's all over? Because I mean that body... <laughs> Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die natural way. So who was it? But... But if this mastermind really is dead... Woo! It means we can finally get the hell out of here! How about that? We gotta hurry up and find that exit, come on! That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? Huh, but what about the exit? Hm. If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave here without... Whenever we decide to. But right now, <laughs> we need to find out why the Mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. <laughs> and I'm bothered by the fact the Mastermind was obviously murdered. What? What? M murdered? So you think so too, huh? Na naturally. Oh, yeah. Hmm. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There is obviously no doubt. The Mastermind was murdered. But, but. Why has it gotta be that way? I mean. Who could have even done that? Ignorance. That's exactly what I said when we need to investigate the purpose and identify the mastermind. 
now do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned for talking to the master ever again. The master has purpose, and why they were killed. This room may very well hold the answers to that question. After all, the Master Brian must have spent who knows how much time here. <laughs> okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to un uncover the identity of the Mastermind. Alright. No. Why was the Mastermind murdered? To figure that out, we need to find out the identity and purpose of the Mastermind. Asina? Jeez, I can't believe how many monitors there are. My eyes are flickering as fast as they are. Here. Um, I mean, I want to know why they were killed as much as the next guy, but I also want to get out of here. I know, but it's kind of... What's your problem? I kind of need to know this. Hurry up and find for the master. Alright. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what, we can't do anything? Just use our fighting... Spirit to force your way in? <laughs> what century are you from? The Mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network. An alter ego. <laughs> you may well be right about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. Uh... <laughs> there's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the Mastermind has been using them all to spy on us. As long as I have this... Huh? Look at Master go, it's like a feast for the eyes! I knew it, you were just gonna stalk him through these monitors. How much is my monthly membership? Oh lord. No comment. Oh wait, nope, not that. Hmm. This door's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? No lock. Um, the door's locked, huh? What if you use the key to open that door? Let's give it a try. Nope, no good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about the door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worry about it isn't gonna do me any good. He is right. The mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Alright. Uh, what is that? There's nothing showing up on this one. <laughs> hey, look, that's that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is. It's just like one of my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas. Wait, so if we hook this up to the antenna, we can watch TV? <laughs> How did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning Hina's here. <laughs> Are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Uh, you're all star for info from the outside world, huh? <laughs> Alright, let me work my magic. You'll you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? You know? Hmm. Huh? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong? <laughs> Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Uh, really? Hmm. Yeah, all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. <sighs> Friggin' idiot mastermind. All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. <laughs> and they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it? Wait, what? Huh? What, what, this is... <laughs> It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? Huh? That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Huh. <laughs> You're weird. Weird in every possible way, and not just weird. Super weird. But... But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. How is it showing the camera feed? <laughs> Did you try changing the channel? Uh, oh, um, good idea. Let's give him a try. Here I went through each channel one by one. But on every channel was just us. It was a life feed of us staying there in a data center. What the heck? What the heck? Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Oh, snap. A trick? What kind of trick? 
So I guess the mastermind isn't dead. Actually, I'm not sure, but. Huh? 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 What? 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 Been a while, you freaking bastards! Matakuma. How you're supposed to be dead? Me dead? Don't be freaking stupid! What? Hey, you're acting kind of strange, so he seems different. Of course! Of course I'm different! Evolution is perfectly natural! After all, I've been hibernating for two years already! Uh -huh. Not even been like half a day at most! Oh. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it! Look at your faces! Right is now sublime! That's what I wanted to see! The moment you went from help to despair! <laughs> Don't tell me you pretend to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should be pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> I mean, it's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh right now. <laughs> well now. And that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to spare the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. <laughs> You can't be serious. We have to keep going. Let me out of here! No, we're supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Unbelievable. How do you not get? There is no getting out of here. And besides, yep. this life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is worse. If, if it's worse, does that mean you're in... Despair? <laughs> nope. Well now. Ooh, I'm cute from all this laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. What the heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it showing up to the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in a blood gushy secret and tell you about it. Ah! That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying a signal coming on the antenna. Huh? But, but does that mean what it's displaying a signal? But it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Uh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Thrills, chills, kills! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Holy shit, this is all a reality show! What the hell? What? Extreme! The Killing Game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understand the words, I'm not sure I understand the deeper meaning. Huh? What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh, no! The camera feed is being broadcast? No way that's impossible. Phew. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system. You know that. All you need is one weird trick and what I found and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course. Oh. I heard a kind of creaking. The sound was coming from my own mind, like a boat tossing the ocean. My mind had begun to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me lurking you here, lurking you here right now. Why would I do anything without a reason? It's all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they never seen it before. <laughs> I became the director of the Spare Base Production! This is the ultimate reality show! The best in despair entertainment! What are you saying? You're lying! If this was on TV, the police and everyone would go crazy! Uh, um... Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us! Actually... What if... They already did? Huh? Yes, indeed! But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some might yell at their TV to try and warn you! But who would actually come here to help? 
Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know it personally though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep, so how could these have come this far? Well, yeah that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Of course. Yeah, there's a little business of. Up oh, here we go. Investigation time. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Huh? Class trial, you mean? <laughs> 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 Monokuma file! I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here! Everyone give it all you got, okay? Heart pounding excitement! Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in a heck of a ride! I can't wait! I can't wait! Oh god. And then he was gone. Realities was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had to just keep myself staying upright. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's this bear entertainment and how is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah. And, and plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikusawa was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fills that condition. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, I really hope it's not her. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, you have a good point. That means the mastermind, Mukuro Ikusawa, isn't dead. <laughs> so naturally, that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There is no other possibility. The body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible. Because because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this. Well, that's how I feel about a lot of the other people who died, Makoto. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not, doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. You refuse to believe it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we better get, get better Quiet. begin. But, but if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer. That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <gasps> Wait, so are you saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? <laughs> but you just said. Stop talking. I don't have any time to explain now. There is a ver veritable amount of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> So I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how this game works, after all. Oh, it's, here we go. Whoa! What is this music? I am, this is some interesting, uh, hardcore music right here. Well, I better start by checking the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed in a single time with the knife, with the completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at several days old. So even a monocular photo doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. Hmm. The identified body, could it really be Kyoko, or... I have no choice, I have to investigate. I have to cover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime, back to the garden. Alright, Monokuma number 5. Man, this soundtrack is banging! Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that may be important from anywhere to end. I just need to do what I always do. Alright, well, let's check the body. If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe then I'll find out if it's Kyoko or not. Well, there is this. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh, there are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they get in the way of a normal activity. Hmm. 
I don't know. Like, for starters, Kyoko wears gloves. So would she really be wearing fake nails? I mean, the tattoo, I don't know, but the fake nails, I doubt. Her is also starting in the back of her right hand. This is a tattoo? I got burnt. It got burnt, so I can't make it out of the whole thing, but... Looks like a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Tattoo in the right hand has been added. Interesting. Oh, whoops. Did I mean to click on that again? The upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top of the half of the body is wet. But that's from that, yeah. That's because it got set on fire and I threw water on, on it. So I threw water on the part that was on the fire in the top half, the bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? Exploded body, okay. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire, so I dumped the bucket on top of it. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? Alright, well, that's it. Alright. Well, there's a knife. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this... It must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. The Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body, from front to back. Oof. Does it mean a knife was actually caused a fatal injury? Either way, that knife. It looks really familiar. Wait, is this... Well, no shit, Makoto. That's it! It's the knife that the person was holding. This is getting really weird. There are just too many strange coincidences. Whoever this person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding a knife. And that same knife was used to stab the same masked attacker we found here. So maybe the masked person got stabbed because... When they attacked, I was in kind of a trance. Maybe they reacted by grabbing the knife. And then maybe I... And if this really is Kyoko, it would be Kyoko's the one who attacked me. But why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No, it can't be. There's no way. Maybe Makoto might have killed him. Or her. Um, chicken coop? Oh. No way. I remember there were some chickens in the chicken coop. I count four. But shouldn't there be five? Huh? Four? Yo! What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens were here in, were in here? Hmm. Of course, there were precisely five. Yeah, right? Huh? What's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're one huh? short. Huh? Ugh. That's so so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. What? I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickens there. What? What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. What? Conspiracy! It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Even a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore here and focus on the problem at hand. Good thinking. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it really be related to the case? Chicken coop chickens. Alright. And... Let's check in here. Just be sure to check the tool set. This room is dusty and disorganized, and underwear is a pretty stereotypical shed. Is this a tarp? Wait, was there a tarp in here before? No. I should probably look at it and be related to the case. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime, but the underside is totally clean and completely dry. One side of the tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. Tarp has been added. That's the one thing that concerns me. I mean, I know where to get a tarp from, which was the uh, the equipment lab, which was next to the uh, science room, or whatever. Hmm. 
It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, I'm serious. Well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember what it was. Monica was in after woke me up at 7, as usual, and I headed to the dining hall pretty soon. Once I got there, I met up with Tina, and that was right around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym where everyone else was waiting. Next, Toko went to go get a pickaxe, and that was when we found the body, so around 9. What time was it then? <laughs> now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was just like 4 or 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 and a dot now. That's right, it had been around 9 o'clock. You know? Oh, now that you mention it, I think you're right. <laughs> so I think we can s safely say that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small job. Yeah, right. When the body was found, okay. Yakia. Hmm. Good time, I'm coming. I wanted to talk to you. Okay, well, let's talk to the girls first, then. Probably say no. Listen, Makoto, do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Um, if I remember right, it was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach in the area where it stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. Yaka said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much blood I was getting on the body, I didn't see any on the ground at all. Okay. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember a lot, too. So, thank you, too. Body before explosion. Alright, Toko. So who does that body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna faint anymore. Alright. Alright, what do you want, boy? Hmm. Oops. Hmm. What do you want to talk about? So, in other words... I like to hear about your alibi. Ooh, yeah, this is what I'm worried about. See, of this alibi case, there's only three technical alibis for this case. Myself, Kyoko, and everyone else. Because everyone else was technically together the whole night, so all that leaves is myself and Kyoko. Uh, uh, alibi? In other words. Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after the night time began last night. Um, well, I was sick, so I was asleep all night. Well, why are you asking about that now? And what's night time got to do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? The murder took place after night time. How can you know that for sure? Hmm. Because just after night time began, I, I came to the garden. I was going to look around for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. He was been spraying most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body In here. other words. So the murder could not could only have taken place at some point during nighttime, after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. What? Hmm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's room to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began to spend some Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We went to the bathroom piers. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. The only one who doesn't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm, all, then I'm the only one without an alibi. Hm. Also, when we go to go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? But you never came to the door, so where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth, I was in my room, but I was just dead asleep. I had a fever, so... <laughs> That's hardly an alibi. Unfortunately, I, uh... I know. <laughs> so what now? You seem to be at quite a disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Biaka's account. Yep. Alright. Uh, what about the sprinklers? Those nozzles poking out. Are those the sprinklers? Or not? Alright. This is the panel that controls the sprinklers. It's set to turn on at 7.30 every morning, and Monku said the time positively couldn't be changed. Huh, hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then if the body was here before then, the sprinklers should have gotten wet. Which would mean the murder must have taken place... The murder must have taken place after the sprinklers went off. So it couldn't have happened at nighttime. There's my alibi. These look like fragments of something. 
They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but... I feel like I've seen something like that before. But where? Wait, was it there? I have to double check that later. Fragments near the dead body. I think I've checked everything I need to in this area, but I'm not done yet. There are other areas I need to check. Specifically the fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go to confirm it. I still need to figure out about Kyoko. If, if that course is really Kyoko, if that's true... Was that also Kyoko who attacked me last night? We gotta find out more about her. Maybe we can answer the question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I get into a room, you'll be able to find out more. But the key to a room... It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I cannot allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give, give up! Me the, give me the key to your room. I don't have a choice. I have to see if he'll let me borrow her room key. Hey, I'm Byakia. <laughs> if you need to come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it. Later at the class trial. Oh no, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping that I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You are the prime suspect after all. What? Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then will you go with me? <laughs> Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later, we'll Goodbye. see. Depending on my move, I may go with you. Or I may not. Come back later, huh? Alright then, in the meantime I should look around somewhere else. Maybe we should get out of that one area. Alright. I'm trying to think that one area... Where would that be? Well, let's check here first. Mm. No. No. There are wooden lockers here. No. Here we go. Well. I gotta find that room. Cam lab, no. Music room, no. Classrooms, no. It can't be in the monitor room. Okay, so it's not, it can't be for this floor. Um, well, first things first, let's check out the chem lab. I mean, not the chem lab, the science room, or whatever the heck it is. I want to I check that storage area. No, that's a big shelf. No. The tarp is blue. Oh. Alright. Alright, there goes my theory about that. <laughs> um, I mean, it looked like debris. Maybe it was in the art room? the hammers at the last time. I guess not in here either. Alright, well this floor is out of the question then. So I thought we are going to find it in the rec room. We're in a room. Maybe, I don't know, library? I don't know.
Oh, actually, look at that letter. Maybe I can check that letter that Kyoko gave us. No. I doubt the pool or the locker room would work. No. No. Not an EAV room either. Or, okay. Okay, so it's not in the dormitories or anything like that. AV room, maybe? I'm trying to think, what room could that be? Hmm. I'm, like, I'm like drawing a blank here, and I feel like an idiot not knowing it. Somewhere in the gym? I don't know. You know? I just found something. What is it? It's Huh? It's what? <laughs> a bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? A bomb? And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about that. Oh, right! That makes sense. It was the bomb, dog. Okay, I'm glad I went in here. Fragments near the dead body. Okay. Okay, check everything else we need to here. Now, Kyoko's room. Alright. Duh. Oh my god, so stupid. How can I forget? I mean, literally, Toko almost died because of that. I really wish there was an elevator, though, because, man... So much running. But, it, but at least we figured out where the bomb was. And I just like wasted like five or ten minutes right now because of that. Whatever. Whatever. I mean, there's not gonna be that much evidence to find this case anyway, so. It is what it is. Hello, Biakia. You think you can go soon, Biakia? Let's go. You want to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well, let's go. Oh, wait for me! Biakia walked off with a second glance, and they hurried after him on their way to the dorms. Okay. Alright, let's go, rich boy. Hmm. Well then, here we go. Biakia took out his key and slid into the key hole, and then click, <laughs> and it's open. Looks like it. Thanks! Let's see what her learn was like. No, it's very simple. So this is Kyoko's room. There's something on the table. It's a woodblock decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them for lockers. Okay, so we gotta go back to the uh the dojo thing or whatever. Hmm. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. Shocker! That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture B.I. could do something like that. It's certainly possible. But if it is a key, I think I might know where it locks. Really? What? Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw something in a dojo that might go to 
The dojo. The woodblock key, okay. Uh, here's our bed. I don't see anything interesting here. At least not as far as the case is concerned. Ooh, boy, what you think of? Here's the bathroom. She might have certain articles hanging out to dry. I better not look inside. Yeah, kid? What? You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're gonna look for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might find some kind of clue here. A clue that might, you know, help us understand Kyoko. Come on. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take time to search for to come here. Sorry. <laughs> Regardless, if you plan to poke around a random, you doomed us no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more to start, something more to concrete. Something to give us some more direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh, what's this? It's true. Consider it a little of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it. Hmm. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something never happened, I should open it. Hmm. Well, something certain has happened, so open it. Okay. I opened the envelope and looked inside. Inside was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets. What? That's all what was in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets. What could it be? Well, I could only imagine. Look, it's going be under the bed sheets. Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but as I looked under the sheets, what's this? I found a crumpled up piece of paper. Mukuru Ikusaba Student Registry. Oh snap! Mukuru Ikusaba. I see. It appears to be Mukuru Ikusaba's profile. Yeah, it looks like it. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck in the headmaster's room along with the key. God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you, it was a key and... That's it! This must be the blade that Monokuma was talking about. Kyoko said a death without meaning was unappealing, and this is what she left behind. Hmm. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and find your search. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Ugh. Sorry. Morning allergies. Uh, okay. I made an effort to pull myself together and looked around the profile sheet. Name, Mukuro Ikasaba. Sex, female. The ultimate soldier. <coughs> Ugh. Interesting. So we got um, a soldier on our hands. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. Jeez. She showed an interest in the military from a child and soon found herself completely absorbed into it. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for a military magazine. She won the Hunger Games? Just before the entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japan's media outlets. An intense international investigation turned up no information and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. Fenrir? That... You know, for those of you who are not aware, Fenrir is a dog of sorts. And you know what was found on that hand? A dog tattoo. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped, that she'd received battle training for her own volition. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Interesting. So that had to be Ibukuro Ikusaba then. The ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. This doesn't re feel real. The world I grew up in is like a completely different dimension. It's like one's non-fiction and the other's sci-fi. There's no way you even compare the two. That's how different this is. That was how I saw things as just an ordinary person, but then... I see. I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. You know about this? How you recognize it? Naturally. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their rule, their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I heard says that Fenrir is already... Found it! Whoa, I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player, and a bit player is becoming our hero! It's you! Wah wah? Hmm, what have you got in your pretty little hand there? What? Uh oh, you found your profile! 
So what if we did? Hey! Come Don't freak out of me! I'm not gonna hold it against any of you or anything! And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either, even though she did stole and hide it! After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? <laughs> but who I can't forgive is Miss Ok Okami, who broke the rules and busted the headmaster's room! <laughs> Sakura gave him the middle finger. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it! Bears are omnivores, you know. Okay, that's up to up. What? Are rule violations really so unforgivable? You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Hmm. Of course I am! A proper school life is built on the dedication of an organization and an order. Yeah. Which is why even I, as a school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself! <laughs> oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Of course! Absolutely! I can't have you complain about how unfair it all is, can I? Mm. In fact, on the subject of Ferris, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting. <laughs> it's about one right on the rules. There is actually one of the participants in the killing game. I don't think he even actually told you how many participants there actually were, did I? Mm. I don't think I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... You... Oh, look at everyone. Man. Oh, Sakura. And everyone else, man. We all first got together in the main hallway. Back when there were 15 people here, right? I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. A misunderstanding, are you saying? In other words. That's right, there weren't actually 15 of you. Yes, indeed. The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16. I mean, no shocker there. 16 then. Mukuro Ikusaba. Man, how many times are we going to see this scene? The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. 16th student, Mukuro Ikusaba? She's part of the school life? So the one making all the regulations is... Why? Why? Huh? Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh well, because <laughs> like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we got so many viewers now, I want to make sure everyone's on the same page. I don't want to wake up in a, a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know. Yes, indeed. Makes sense. Hmm. Well, now. Okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get back into sneaky Miss Kira Kiri, so I want to share a little secret with you. Seriously? Hey, um... You know she wears those stupid gloves day in and day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but... <laughs> she took... She wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't even want anyone to see. Well, it does line up with what was said about the Monokuma file about uh, scars that were had before the incident. But I still don't think it's Kyoko. What? <laughs> okay, that's now... Now all you get... Monokuma's account has been added, okay. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars. Wait, so on the back of her hand... The tattoo? Wait, but no. Monokuma specifically said there were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide the scars, which means... Those fake nails on the corpse. Right, why would you wear them? Alright, thinking about Kyoko again, huh? What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His trap? Such ignorance. God, I must have really hated you to make you so dull. Jeez, okay. <laughs> Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. That's right. Obviously, Monokuma is trying to tell us that Mukuro Kasaba is one creating the rules of the game. Why would he tell us that? And why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. <laughs> but the mere fact that he said that proves that Mukuro is connected to this case. That's, that's why Monokuma revealed the existence of the 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Mukuma's related to the case. It's certainly possible. Perhaps she's the one that killed Kyoko. What? Hmm. That would explain why we'd have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she kills someone, that would make her a part of the school killing game. Mukuro's the killer? She killed Kyoko? Hmm. Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, and in fact... That's exactly what I first thought when the investigation began. What? 
But based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. It's all clear now. Mukuro Ikisaba is not the culprit. <laughs> what do you say then? Hmm. We thought Mukuro, the ultimate despair, was Yamasurai's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Fire and Yamasurai go out of their way to reveal themselves to us. That's a good point. So in other words... Mukuro giving us information that would raise questions about her would, would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want us to select Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. Hmm. That's what makes sense to me. The way you say it definitely does seem possible, but that does seem really true. If Mukuro isn't a the killer, then who is? Hmm. Well, then I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there are other places that need an investigation. I should find out the key and the dojo are really connected. Let's go. Well, are you coming? Alright, dojo time. Oh, let's check locker. There are wooden lockers here. Looks like Kitty found a key because we really does go to one of these lockers. I see. Makoto, do you see the locker falls to the right? Very strange. That's the only one that doesn't have a key in it at the moment, and it does have a six. You don't understand what that means, right? I should probably use the key we found in the locker, right? That's right. Well, let's just try it. Uh, okay. I took out the wood block key and inserted it into the locker's metal lock. And the locker easily accepted the key and it opened. There are arrows in here. It looks like 10 arrows in total. Hmm. They look like they were made of titanium, which means they're quite strong, despite how thin they are. Of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Strong sticks. Hmm. Titanium arrows been added. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a wired up ball of duct tape. I wonder what it's used for. Is that a blood stain? Hmm, I see. If it is, then that means it would surely be related to the case. This duct tape is related to the case somehow, but how can it possibly be involved? Hmm. This all the locker has to offer for now. Hmm. Is that wrong? Very strange. It, it's very odd, don't you think? The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps. Yakia? Hmm. Forget it. Hmm, it's putting the assumption that she might be the killer now. Come on, we need to continue to the next location. Huh? What next location? What? There's still something we need to look into. We need to do more research on Fenrir. Oh, so we're gonna go to the library? Fenrir, you mean the mercenary group that Mukuro is a part of? But how are we supposed to find out about that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Where in the school would you go to do research on something? Research. Are you talking about the archive? That's, r that's right, the archive has all kinds of info that the general public doesn't even have access to. Let's go. We only have so much time left before the trial begins. Let's hurry. Alright. Let's do it. Hmm. I believe there was a file related to Fenrir somewhere over here. The actor seemed to know the archive like the back of his hand and went straight to the shelf in the back. Hmm. Ah, oh, here we go. He quickly returned the file in my hand. Alright. I see. Take a look at this. Um, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Hmm. How did you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Well, is it, I mean, I don't know how Japanese schooling works, but don't most Japanese schools teach English more so over French? I don't know. It's, that's my assumption. I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. <laughs> well, whatever. I'll read it for you, but I expect you to repay your debt a hundred times over. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? <laughs> Fenrir is an elite and Fenrir is an elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Interesting. Just like Fenrir, the Wolf of Ragnarok, their mere presence is enough to strike fear into an enemy. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations much of which are highly classified. However, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, they, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that the key members of their group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquired. Some, somehow, however, believe that they were mounting internal tension within the group, and they simply imploded. Hmm. What? What is it? This all just sounds like some kind of alternate reality. Hmm. Well, it isn't. This is our reality. The only reality. These people are a part of our world. 
Their battlefields are much different from our lives here in an unpredictable, imaginable world. <laughs> That's what mistakes is all so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I would use. Yeah, I agree with there, Makoto. <laughs> so, if anything jump out to you, this may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Now that you mention it, the report's are saying about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? <laughs> That's right, said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? To show that there is a member of our team, each member that joins the squad will get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere in the body. Boom! See? It can't be Kyoko then. So she's somewhere alive, right? What? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? Could that mean... Mukri Kasaba's profile has been added. Oh, that's it. Investigation time's over. Time is utterly silent, and yet it constantly assaults us organisms, the Earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. I mean, that is kind of deep. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. Shit's about to go down. So, people. please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later. All right. <laughs> then the time has come. All right. All we can do now is try to uncover the truth during the class That's trial. That's right. It would seem that way. Let's go. All right. Well, you know the drill, everyone. You know, we did our investigating. We learned a lot about Mukuro Ikasaba. Possibly learned, you know, that you know that Kyoko is probably still alive. So next time, guys, we're gonna start the class trial and uh, figure out what the hell is gonna go on from here. So until next time, guys, I'll be seeing ya. And let's see what the where this trial is gonna lead us. Later.